It's dinette seating time. I have already bought the foam and the material and I took it over to the upholsterer that I always use. She does great work. So I said, I've got to get working on the dinette seating. And the 64, it doesn't have the normal where it'll kind of come up like this and put that side on it. It's just like this. I know that that's the case because that's the only way this can go in is on the door side. And so it, it did not have that extra part to hold that back cushion in. So I don't want to carry this around because I'm sure this isn't going to be the first 60s model or last 60s models that I do. So I went ahead and uh, took it apart. Made a template. 1964 Scotty dinette seat. So I know that that's what it is. I don't have to keep that whole dinette seat around here. I can put it out on the trash pile now. So as I said, I went ahead and made two dinette seats, half inch plywood for here, quarter inch ply here. And this little three quarter here is where the uh, table is going to sit in to make a bed and then the rest of these uh, one by three and a half and then just a little piece right there that uh, you can have your storage and things won't go flying around. So let's go ahead and go inside, set it up and make sure that I did it right. All right, we've got our dinette seating on this side is test fit in. Uh, I'm going to have to make sure that it's level and everything. Uh, the this is from our template right here. I got it all sanded down where I put my screws in. I put some putty on it. It's going to be painted blue and beautiful. I'll probably do the same right up here. Uh, these are 22 inches from here to here. And that's what the cushions are made for. And then there'll be 22 on this side as well. And then the uh, dinette table will come down on this ledge. And then the back cushions will sit there and it'll make a real nice uh, extra bed for somebody. Maybe the kids are going, the grandkids are coming along, or whatever it is. And that's that'll be real nice right there. Then I went ahead, we got to have storage. So we got to make sure that we've got our storage and you can haul around whatever you want. There's a, quite a bit of room under here on a small camper. You got to make real good use of your storage. And that's what I did. So I'm going to take these out right now and uh, I'm going to paint them blue. It's going to be a lot of beautiful blue painting happening on the interior, and that's going to be uh, uh, real exciting because it'll contrast this white real well. Here we're going to start working on our kitchen cabinet. If you remember, this was the original one, and I said I was going to take a look at it and assess the damage. And uh, this is where that sink, that uh, molded fiberglass, that blue sink, uh, was sat on here. And then uh, right here is where the stove is going to sit. And so as I've gone through this, uh, there's really not very much damage. It just needs, I think, mostly sanded, a little bit of wood putty, and a coat of paint. And I think it, you know, trim it up real nice. I think it's gonna come out. Uh, there are a couple of um, pieces that, uh, when I was removing it, that uh, kind of got, cracked so those are coming off I'm going to rebuild those but first I'm going to go ahead sand this all down then that'll give me an even better idea and I'll put some new screws in it and that'll tell me if it's going to hold but I think it's I think it's really stout and I think it's going to save us some time save us some money and again it's a piece of history so let's go ahead and put it back in if we can you remember how nice the uh, kitchen cabinet was on the bottom that the uh, sink and the stove sat on? Real nice. Uh, this is the upper cabinet that goes above that. Um, not so much. This one is a complete rebuild. I'm going to have to 100% make templates off of it and rebuild it. And what I've got to keep in mind is that I'm going to come off these sides right here. And this will go to the back of the camper and I'm going to build another shelf that will come here and just kind of make a little curve like that and we're going to use that 
to brace into here, brace into the wall, tighten up that camper even more. And uh, I think it's gonna look real sharp and give us a little bit of extra storage space. And, and storage space is at a premium. I am gonna keep this hardware though. I mean, it's fine, but that's absolutely the only thing that I'm gonna save on this upper cabinet. Hold on, stop the presses. I was out here working, building the shelves, building everything that we have gone over in this episode. And one of our viewers gave me a call and wants to buy the camper. Well, why do I have to hold the presses? Well, not everybody has my taste for what they like. Uh, this lady has uh, uh, wants it a little softer, a little more feminine, as she said, a little more girly. Um, I'm not good with girly, so she has to tell me exactly what she wants. We've got that out of the way. Just some, some minor changes, really. Nothing too crazy because I haven't installed anything yet. So I'm going to kind of take you through exactly what she wants, and I'll kind of show you in the air, and uh, then we will... Uh, get back to building and in the next episode you'll kind of start to see some of those changes come to light so we'll start up front here now she does really like the dinette seating because it's vintage it's original and so we're going to paint that the robin's egg blue so that's going to stay the same now the table i had a uh gray tone boomerang kind of that vintage boomerang uh style and um uh, uh, it's a little too dark for her. She wants it uh, more girly, more fringe, you might say. And so, good, good. Uh, she's going to send me a sample of what she wants. I will get that for Micah. I'll redo the table. No harm, no foul on that. I can take what I've already got, and I can use it on the next camper, because it's, it's vintage and it's pretty cool. Uh, she's going to have a shelf built in all the way across here. Then we're gonna come over here, and from about right, uh, probably about right here, no, right here, is going to start the kitchen area. So the cabinet will come all the way over to about right here, I'm thinking, maybe, yeah, about right here. And so that will be the original um, uh, built-in fiberglass sink. But she doesn't want the propane stove. So what we're going to do is we're going to take where that hole for the stove went in, we're going to trim it out real nice, and we're going to put maybe a little butcher block or a cutting board and build that right into it, and that'll be very useful for her. Then coming directly up from the uh, kitchen cabinet and the countertop is going to be a, um, a shelf cabinet, two doors. It's going to go right here. Then coming off of the end of it, is going to come straight down here like this, and we're going to have a shelf on both sides. The bed is going to come out 48 inches, which is a standard RV mattress. So 48 inches by 75 inches, perfect. That's, a, that's just a standard uh, mattress size for these, so that won't be hard to do. Um, shelves on the other side, and then we will go to the opposite side, you know, we're going to build a cabinet about this wide. We'll take it from the wheel well all the way to the ceiling. We're going to put the uh, refrigerator on in there and maybe make a spot for a microwave and some storage. You just got, you, you can't have enough storage in these little things. And I think over on this side where the refrigerator used to be was well, an ice box. We're going to put the uh, AC unit will work right there. So I think it's all going to be real nice. I don't think it's going to be a lot of changes at really, other than just kind of some color schemes. Um, going to go with white on the outside and probably the original kind of teal aqua color as an accent. So the presses have been officially stopped and we're going to come at you in about another week and check out what we're doing.